Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is July 27th and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can see the marine there bobbing and weaving, moving down the coastline, some eddy action off of Southern California, some monsoon moisture again today. We'll be dealing, we've been dealing with that for a week or so, but we are looking at an uptick here and that's kind of the big weather story coming up to the end of this weekend on in through early and mid next week as some monsoon moisture could move up across California, Nevada and increase across Arizona here as this ridge of high pressure moves off to the east here and we get some weakness. We get some cooler temperatures aloft that could really allow for some better monsoon moisture into the region. So we'll take a look at that in some detail. And then the next big weather story starting to emerge also is the redevelopment of a ridge here across some of the southwest. We'll take a look at what the extended models have to say about that also. This day in SoCal weather history, check it out, 1946. Look at this hail accumulation, 1.5 inches. Strong thunderstorms, three-foot wall of water ripped out three miles of highway. So monsoon season can get crazy off into California. California here, you can see some of these gusty winds, Blythe and Imperial, with near visibility, with near zero visibility and blowing dust and sand. These winds got all the way out to San Diego County, downing some power lines there as well. So great stuff as always from the National Weather Service, San Diego. Here we are looking at the temperature map, and you can see, of course, the desert area is much warmer versus the coastal areas. It's just kind of that early midsummer setup here where we don't have the offshore flow that you really start to warm up the coastal areas with. We'll probably be dealing with that at some point, I'm sure, as we go on in through August. August, however, this is the heat not too bad across the valley areas. Typical summertime stuff here and nothing to get too worked up about the... The big story, though, is often the extended forecast is the ridge may redevelop here over the area, but that's something off into fantasy land still. We'll be looking at that over the next few days. And look at this. This is below average here. It's still warm, but, you know, you get out to the coastline, it's pretty downright chilly here. San Francisco and Eureka, of course, only in the low to mid 60s. But, yeah, you go inland here if you want a bit of heat there. But this is nothing what we've been compared to what we've been dealing with here versus earlier this summer. And here we go with the pattern change. This is Las Vegas National Weather Service you can th uh, Thursday through Saturday here. But by the time you get towards Sunday, you're going to notice a change here. We're going to bring some more monsoon moisture back up across the area and some area, a lot of areas of California, Nevada, and Arizona is going to be getting an uptick in this monsoon activity. We'll be checking that out here more in a moment. This is Phoenix here. You can see better chances across the muggy on rim out here. I've been told about three different ways to pronounce that. So if you guys want to continue that debate, go ahead and post some comments below. But you can see lesser amounts across the lower terrain, better across the higher terrain here, and not really much of a thunderstorm threat across many of the areas of California and Las Vegas, at least today. That's going to be changing, though. You can see these gusty winds could bring some blowing dust and some localized downpour, some isolated flooding with any of the stronger storms. Here we go. As you go on through Sunday, you can see the uptick in the thunderstorm potential here. And we may finally get under 110 degrees here as we go through you later in the weekend into early next week for Phoenix. Just an incredible stretch of very hot weather here may come to an end with the potential for a bounce back through the extended. And you can kind of see that here, the cool down for maybe three to four days here, some precipitation associated that will finally probably break that 110 degree streak here. And the models have been kind of underdoing some of these temperatures though as well. A couple days ago, we had 119 again at Phoenix. It's an incredible temperature. So if that big ridge does set up, we're going to get warmer than these temperatures most likely here coming up. This is down for Tucson National Weather Service. You can see better chances for Tucson versus Phoenix and across eastern and southern portions of Arizona, especially across the higher terrains there. Now, looking at uh, Los Angeles here, just a heads up that elevated fire weather conditions, you could really say that any time of the um, summer months here across California, it doesn't really matter that we've got that nice rainfall and the nice snowpack up in some of the mountains and the streams are elevated. You can still have that fire, those fire starts. So it's just worth keeping in the back of your mind here. And of course, the valleys and the deserts are going to be quite warm still again. This is looking at Stovepipe Wells, California, 122, Arizona, 122 as well. Check it out. West, southwest of Bynum, Montana. They're 27 degrees. Pretty chilly overnight lows here for July. Now, this is looking at the GFS. This is hot off the presses, 12Z run. You can kind of see this ridging here, and it's going to be moving off to the east. And what you'll notice here is the weakness in the ridge now. You can see this activity moving up across Arizona, Southern California, up through Nevada. That's going to be the culprit here, increasing that monsoon moisture across the region. This is the one we're going to be watching closely over the next couple of days. 
But then you see that's fairly short-lived after a few days. This ridge wants to redevelop, and the GFS has been painting a very sinister picture here as we go off into the extended forecast. You can see this monster ridge rebuilding across some of the areas. Really ramp up temperatures again. You see extending across California up into the valley as well. So again, record level heights here at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet. Big heat dome showing up in some of the model runs. The European doesn't totally agree here, but it's fantasy for now. But it's something we'll be watching here. This is looking at the European here, 500 millibar heights, and you can see something similar to the GFS here. You can see this ridge start to weaken and move off to the east. There it goes. And then you see that weakness here on the west side of the ridge, bringing some of that monsoon moisture back up across the area here. And then we start to redevelop this ridge again here. So that's about the end of the run, 10 days here on the European. And we'll see how this trends. We've got some time to watch this. Nothing to, to get too worked up over just yet. This is day one thunderstorm outlook. Generally, Nevada and California thunderstorm free today and tomorrow. Arizona, typical stuff again here. And we'll be increasing that here as we go through the weekend. This is 6 to 10 day temperature probability. You can see the coastal regions even a little bit below average here. And you can see that ridge finally kicking off to the east. But then the 8 to 14 day kind of showing the redevelopment of the ridge showing here through August 9th. Here's 6 to 10 day precipitation. This would be associated with that monsoon surge back up across the area. 8 to 14 days, that ridge would build back in here. It again would suppress some of this monsoon activity. So that's the reason for the below average percentage there. Now here we go with the GFS running 24 hour precipitation total. Check it out. So we're going through Saturday night there, kind of typical stuff across Arizona. But as we go through Sunday, you see some of this moving out towards California here, trying to make its way into Southern Nevada. Repeating here across some of the higher terrain of California, some big precipitation amounts showing up near Big Bear Lake, for example. And then you can see this move up across the Sierra Nevada, up through Nevada here. And then the, the next ridge would start to come in here and really shut down the monsoon again. So we'll be watching that ridge in the extended closely. So a couple interesting weather patterns coming up here in some of the forecasts. And again, just kind of showing you where the muggy on rim is here. <laughs> again, put some comments down below. Let me know how you pronounce it. This is Big Bear City. Check it out. GFS. I guess some of these amounts here, nice amounts showing up in virtually all the ensemble runs here, except for what, maybe one, two, three of them. But pretty good ensemble agreement here for that monsoon moisture making its way back into some portions of California. And look at Los Angeles. We only had two of these yesterday. We got a little bit of an uptick. Maybe we can keep that going and get a thunderstorm out towards the metro area. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. San Diego, look at this. Virtually all the ensemble runs have some measurable precipitation coming in this time period for San Diego, California. Do you believe it? This is San Francisco. Nothing showing up here for the Bay Area just yet. We'll be sure to watch this over the next few days here as well. Well, however, this is Las Vegas. Look at that. This is a pretty pre uh, impressive precipitation amounts here. Only one of the ensembles doesn't have measurable precip for Las Vegas here. Some of these could even cause some flooding across some of the metro area there. So definitely something to watch here as we go on into early next week. Here we go for Eureka. I like to show this one. The red is the average temperature this time of year. And you can see hovering around average. Look at these temperatures. Nice and mild out there. Bring a jacket if you're headed to the coastline. Look at San Francisco. Similar thing here as well. Start to get some disagreement as you go out towards the um, mid or actually the later uh, this is still early august here but we're getting towards mid-august here and you can see some of these ensemble runs start to disagree and that kind of gives you lower confidence in the forecast by that point here we go for july you can see much of the west been above average the lower 48 a degree above average here um, as we go through july 1st through july 26th you can kind of see that cooler than normal across some of the plains there as well. This is from January 1st, 2023 to January, uh, July 26th. And again, the yin and yang still exists here. Some of Washington above average here, but we're working on some of these temperatures from here. And this is really going to put a dent in it here if this next ridge does develop here as we go through the extended forecast as well. Here's looking at the fire danger. The orange here is windy and dry here across some of Arizona, just outside of Las Vegas here. The red here is for dry lightning potential there. This, some of these storms aren't going to be producing enough precipitation to extinguish any fires that the lightning may start. Doing pretty good across California, but still it's summertime and you can get some of those fire starts out there across the area. So just a heads up. This is looking at the drought monitor. This was introduced yesterday, I believe, here. And uh, you can see the only changes here was some abnormally dry was added to southern Arizona here. I don't believe there was any change to the moderate drought across some of Las Vegas out towards the desert areas here. And some abnormally dry across extreme northern California as well. So not too bad. Not, not much of a change here going 
on in through the new update here. But anyway, yeah, do you guys believe that's going to come across the area here? You know, you're going to get some measurable precip into the deserts, the higher terrain, maybe even out towards San Diego, Los Angeles Metro, Las Vegas, up across the Sierra Nevada here. Nice monsoon surge. And hopefully that ridge off in the extended starts a downward trend here as we go. The GFS painting a pretty dire picture. The European not as strong with the ridge, but it would be above average here. So we'll continue to watch that over the next few days. Leave some comments below. We'll do this again tomorrow, and I will talk to you guys then.